Hello everybody, it's Van Berman here. Welcome back to another video and a big shout out to uh, Akshat Shah for the question. He asks, uh, can I do a performance test where I test multiple lightweight and not so lightweight games at three watts? So we are gonna do that. I'm also gonna do it with the battery unhooked as well so we can see what the impact will be on our um, battery as well because I think that's quite important to do also. So the only thing I'm going to limit is the thermal TDP power to 3 watts. Bearing in mind you will see higher than that in the performance metrics up here purely because um, the games don't always listen and I'm not certain if that 3 watt is max 3 watt for each or max 3 watt for the one SOC. So yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so we'll start off with a not so light game. I think it'd probably be good if we sort of um, flick between the two and then we'll go for one that's like a, a medium um, lightweight game. So for those of you that watched my last video <clears throat> on Football Manager 22, I did run that at four watts, I think, rather than three. So yeah, you get a bit of an idea as to what we might see from this. Although, of course, no guarantees. I'm also doing the recording with or oh, on the actual screen rather than direct capture because that's something I've been asked for. I think it probably does make sense here as well. Hopefully if it loads. This is one of the ones that was fixed with the with the mod. And I have already tried this one. So I know uh, sorry with um Glorious Egg Roll, the new Proton version. So I already know how this goes. And um I think you'll be unsurprised if I'm honest. That's right, this this button here is the one you're meant to press. <laughs> you can do it, Bright Memory Infinite, I believe in you. Oh. All I will say is, it did work. I'll tell you what, let's, <laughs> let's remove the limit for now. See if it works now. Oh, no. That is bizarre. I wonder why that is. Tell you what. Benefit of the doubt, launch it again. And then if we can get into the actual game, I'll drop it down to three watts then, and we'll see what effect it has. But I didn't actually have this issue before, so I'm a bit surprised. Okay. And now while it's loading in. <laughs> oh. It's the best time to get it. You gotta catch it off guard, you see. And then hope that you haven't just made it crash. I think this is probably gonna be a theme in this video at least for the not so lightweight games. So, yeah, limit, as you can see, we're still drawing um, a decent amount of wattage, but what I'll do is I'll just leave it, give it 30 seconds, let it settle down once it knows what it's doing. And then we'll try and give it some inputs. It's buttery smooth. <laughs> no, it's uh, obviously not buttery smooth. 
Oh, wrong button. I'd say it's fine for the slow mo. But that's about it. I also can't tell if we've got some gnarly resolution scaling going on here as well. Uh, no, apparently not. This is difficult at the best of times. I mean, it's probably like an average of 16 FPS, which is not terrible. Although, yeah, you couldn't really play this like this. Oh, I'm so bad. Oh, missed. Okay, that was my bad. But um, yeah, I mean, if you want to play it like that, you get many hours out of it. Um, I guess, I don't know if there is actually native, I don't think there is native FSR in Bright Memory Infinite, but if it loads back in, I will use evasion to stay alive. Yeah, well, that's a bit difficult with 17 FPS. <laughs> Let's have a look, see if we can. See if it's going to make any difference at all. I just get the feeling that three watts is not going to be enough. Oh, that's subtitle size. I'm not worried about that. We can run it in four by three. Anyone like four by three? Okay. Oh yeah, it looks like we did have a rent a render scale of fifty percent actually. I was wondering. Okay, looks like everything else is turned down. Ah, uh, gosh. Yeah. Okay. Well, twenty FPS. No, eighteen. We okay, gained a couple more frames per second. But yeah, I wouldn't want to play it like this. So. Although as a as a thought experiment is pretty good. I think we've gone from it maxing out twenty five watts, so like two hours or yeah, two hours fifteen ish to uh five and a half hours, so not too bad. We'll pick something that's a bit more lightweight. I've not ever played um FTL, so I'm gonna do Slay the Spire. It's one I'm a bit more familiar with. And I'll classify this as a lightweight game. The other one I think I'm gonna try is Terraria as well because I think that one probably needs looking at. And then I guess we'll go with maybe Elden Ring. I don't know. Once again, I have already tried Elden Ring, so maybe we'll pick a different one. I haven't tried Slay the Spire, though. Interested to see how it affects performance. I think it'll be fine, personally. Uh, this one is quite good with touchscreens, as I went through on the stream which is nice. Um, although I can't actually remember how to play it, but there you go. Okay, so from what I remember, you just use up all your cards, right? Oh no, maybe not, maybe that one. Still running at 60 FPS. I don't know whether the cap would make a difference on this one. But I am willing to try and see what see what happens. What's this? Quick slash. Like I say, I don't really know what I'm doing.
Oh no, got slimed. Okay. I'm pretty happy with this, to be honest. The wind's fine. Oh no, not a big boss. Oh no, not one of these things. Okay, I will... Oh yeah, we'll turn FSR off as well. But I'll also unlock the power and we'll see if it makes any discernible difference. Looking like it is actually. I'm surprised. Because clearly it doesn't need to run any higher. We're only trying to get a 60 FPS. Mm. So there you go. That might be a genuine, legitimate use case for this. Although it's really minimal, isn't it? It's like 10 minutes or so. Hmm. I'm going to say no discernible difference for lightweight games. It does at least allow you to know that you've... that you have limited it, I guess. Hmm. I thought they are only going to give me defense skills there. I ain't going to do me any good. I probably should have done add card to deck. Never mind. Anyway, point is, I think that one runs pretty well. Maybe that one's a little bit too lightweight. I don't know. But in any case, let's do... I uh, could do the Ascent. Could do Elix to Bannerlord. Um, I'll tell you what. We'll mix things up. We'll go, we'll go Kingdom Come Deliverance at a glorious 4 watts. And... Three watts, sorry. And also make the rest of you suffer as I load it at three watts as well. Because <laughs> I'm sure that won't take the biscuit. I'm not sure whether this power limiting thing is strictly necessary. I think you could probably get away. You could probably do better, actually just by limiting the FPS to 30, for example, or maybe fifth, maybe Slay the Spy would run fine at 15. I don't know. But this is going to be a mess. Guaranteed. The one thing I will say about, well, I forgot actually to mention in the in my football manager video, is that when you do run it limited, like limited watts, three watts or what have you, the temperatures very rarely go above this 42, 43 range. And what that means um, in reality is that I've noticed that the fan seems to ramp up about 45, 46, as in like its first initial like semi-audible ramp, uh, ramp up. So that's something to consider, and that might be a, you know, a genuine use case for doing it. I've never watched that far into the initial um, thing above the initial video, so that should tell you. <laughs> um, the extent of the of the three watt limit. I did think it was a really good idea though for a video because it's something that I hadn't necessarily really thought about testing. And I'm happy to test other games at the three watts or four watts or whatever. Um because like I say I do find it quite interesting. Okay, well outside the city it's not the worst. However, let's go into Rate. If I can even control my horsey. Oh, look at that popping. 
The good news is you can play this for five hours like this if you want to. I'll be honest, I think I'd rather have three hours of 30 FPS. So I'd say four hours, 60 minutes. Gosh, incredible. Then uh, five hours of, ooh, <laughs> ouch. Um, yeah, the 15 FPS limit is not saving as, not saving as here. Well, I tell you what, you guys are big and ugly enough to decide for yourselves if this is something that you'd want to do, but I am, I'm not convinced. I will get off the horse though. I mean, there's a, there's a, a smooth 15 FPS, we're even hitting cinematic FPS at some points. And of course I'm trying to demonstrate something that would be a roundabouts worst case, I suppose. Rete sorry, is full of lots of characters, lots of assets. Uh, how this would translate to trying to time your swings in a fight and whatnot, I don't really know. It looks quite heavily rev resolution scaled as well which may be worth having a look at. Ah, yes, running at 540, 540p. Oh, dare I put it up to 800? Go on then. After all, we are a glutton for punishment. Yeah, okay, and full motion blur, so it's going to be the best ever. Now that is what I expected. Uh, three watt experience. I don't really know what you could do. Uh, I guess it's it's different, isn't it, for everyone? For me, I just don't think the trade off is worth it. I know this is outside the scope of the video, but for example, how about we just move this up to seven watts? which is still, it should still be limiting it in a way, or, or and, how about 30 FPS? This is at low now, of course, but it is 800, well, yeah, around about 800p. But is that not better, even if you lose an hour and a half's worth of gameplay? I don't know. I don't know if this I don't know if the question was actually around if it was focused to do with battery. Um I'm only presuming that it was. But in any case. I gotta say though, I do love just having the option available and that you can just change it on the fly. I am gonna get out of here. Ah. Okay, so the next one, and one that I haven't actually tried at all yet, I suppose it's nice that the menus still run rather crisp, is Terraria. Oh, apparently it's got an update. So, yeah, we'll play Terraria. Like I say, not played it with a controller, I don't think, ever. So I'm not sure how that translates. And then I think we will have a quick look at Left 4 Dead 2, mainly because I sort of perceive that to be middle of the road, I guess. As in it's something that has maybe a chance of working well at such low wattage, he says, unconvinced. Uh, I don't think I have any saves on here. Oh, I do. Gosh, okay. I don't remember last time I played. That's great news. This doesn't seem like is any different to how I would expect it to run normally. And I guess that's probably the one of the biggest takeaways, I imagine. What's jump? Ah, bow, sword. 
Mm. Ah, trigger. Ah, oh, Steve's here. Hello, Steve. Oh, and you can use the direction arrows for some fine tuning. So I don't know is what's jump. Ah, very good. Uh, frame rate's a little bit inconsistent, I would say. If I was, oh, I've decided I'm going to mine him to death. Sorry, blue slime. You had it come in though. Gosh, I don't know what I was doing here. Oh, I remember now. I was building like a sky fort, you know, so you can kill the harpies and try and get yourself the wings and stuff. And then obviously, a... oh, there we go. Problem is, the technique required actually needs. Um, yeah, <laughs> a bit of nuance to get it to work properly. I'm not sure why I used ice. That's an interesting... They're trying to make it look like a tree house. I don't remember now. But yeah, I think the idea is that ice that allows you to move a lot quicker. Anyway, I'm digressing, of course. But yes, and then here's my safe haven away from the uh, from the harpies. But still, you know, it's not bad. Not bad. Um, a few little minor stutters, I guess, where it's probably begging for an extra extra watt or two. Um, oh, that's gonna be bad. Oh, that's bad. Oh no. Well, that's that's not good. <laughs> but once again, you know, I imagine it'd probably be solved by going to 30. Oh, you know what? No. I don't like this. This feels slow. Yes, it is slow. Okay, don't run Terraria at 30 FPS. That's my advice. That's the take home from that. Um, oh, I guess we better try it. Unlimited as well. What are we getting? Six? Five hours, 40 something, I think. Let's try it unlimited. See what happens. Problem is, it's still going to bounce off that 60 FPS cap anyway. I don't put a bed anywhere. I think I was too busy trying to get wings. Oh yeah, it does drop considerably. So maybe in this case where you want to sort of soft lock at, at 60, then yeah, maybe enabling a TDP cap could be really useful. Especially to get you an extra hour or so. Why not? I'd do it. Anyway. Yeah, quite happy with that. And then, last one we will look at for this particular video. Although, I am happy to do more of this battery testing if you would, if you would like to see it. No issues there. Is Left 4 Dead. Um, I mean, I've got everything cranked up at the minute, so I imagine if I turn the settings down, I think that's probably within the confines of this particular video, it will probably do all right, I think. Oh, then I click on audio. I know I'm setting myself up to being disappointed. And also for the game to look horrendous.
But this is one of those where we did where I did see frame dips when we tested it on the stream, and that was with unlimited everything uh, plugged in the lot. Not that plugged in really makes that much difference as we've experienced. Some games it may do, other games it certainly won't. Uh, and that was with everything cranked as well. So if we by limiting the TDP, will that help? Mm. Certainly, as we've like lost. 12% of my battery life. It looks like we'll probably definitely get, not definitely, but could get over six hours potentially. I can't remember what this, what the, what Valve's official sort of guidance is for it in terms of uh, what the battery life was. Is it two to six hours or is it two to eight? Uh, I can't remember. I mean, it doesn't look as nice, but it is 800p as well. So, could even reduce the resolution scale. I probably wouldn't set this at 30, although we can do, but I probably wouldn't because I don't really see the point in it. You may as well have 60. Especially something like this, where you can, where it makes sense. Gosh. It's probably, I don't know, it's not too bad, is it? Even on low, you still get all the nice effects of arms flying everywhere and destructible scenery and, <laughs> and whatnot. I can't really complain. I do want the baseball bat, though. Zombie slaying is always better with a baseball bat. Okay, so let's also limit that frame rate because I'm not certain that the TDP limit is going to do much here. So only if this, I like, took it up to six and a half hours, would I say even consider playing it at 60. Because it's a, uh, sorry, 30, because it's a far better experience at 60. Oof. Oh no, charge up. Where did he go? In the bathroom. Might be dead actually. Gosh, okay. Very good. Ooh, chainsaw. Very nice. Yes, please. I mean, I don't really know how long you want to play Left 4 Dead 2 4 on a full, a full charge, but. Yeah, the sky seem is seemingly the limit. <clears throat> I do find it interesting though that the TDP change doesn't seem to really make much difference. I'll tell you what we'll do. Well, I've got limited to thirty. I'll take off TDP limit, and now we should see maybe the wattage go up and the numbers go down. I mean, they're going to naturally go down anyway because on battery power. I don't know if the chainsaw affects battery life or not. I'm going to say no. Okay, battery life's actually going up. Well, I don't know. Oh, sorry, everyone gets chainsawed. Well, there you go. I guess limiting it to to 30 seeming, seemingly does a bit of a better job. And actually, even 60 at low, 800p, seem doing a good job, but you, I don't know. What are you going to lose, about an hour or so? I'll give it, I'll give it 30 seconds just to settle in. But there you go, that looks like it's sticking there, 5 hours 15. So, hmm, there certainly is, is, there certainly are some gains to be made, but it certainly needs to be in the right titles. So I think what I would say for this one is, if there is... A specific title you want to see running at three watts or four watts or with some sort of limit on, let me know because I think, or let me know a couple of games, I guess, that I've already tested because that to me would be able to tell you more than, than I can from this footage. 
it needs, you know, it's one of those where it's nice to have the option, um, but it's certainly going to work on a game by game basis. That's not much of a conclusion, is it? Because you probably could have worked that one out ahead of time. But we are where we are. Unfortunately, I'm not making the videos. So there you go. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Just a little bit of an interesting insight, I think, into messing around with some of the battery settings. But yeah, without a doubt, you can certainly get pretty good, pretty decent performance anyway, over stock, if you're willing to tune stuff, set settings down low, potentially a resolution scale or two. Um, I think that's something that I would quite like to do. If there's a, a game that you want to see what I can get the max maximum battery life out of, I think that would probably be a pretty interesting series, um, especially for like AAA games because they're quite difficult. And what I mean like by max, max battery life is still being playable. Now, different people have different expectations for different games. Um, for me, with the Steam Deck, 30 has to 30 really has to be classified as playable in pretty much all titles because that is sort of what we've been um, given 720p 30 fps is the the benchmark for it really and it should hit that as a minimum obviously older games yeah okay we can do 60 fps and and that might be good to know and then the difference between 60 and 30 is not actually from what i've seen it's not as big like you could just think oh double frames double performance but that's not really how it works a lot of the wattage is in things like your wi-fi your bluetooth for example the screen um not necessarily just translating into needing to render double the amount of frames and then it all depends where that load falls onto as well in terms of the on the soc so yeah it's certainly not straightforward but Anyway, let me know your thoughts on this one. Hopefully it's been an interesting uh, piece or insight into the Steam Deck. I know that plenty of other people have done battery life videos uh, on the Steam Deck, but maybe it's good to, you know, check that against the second source and what have you. Anyway, guys, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and bye for now.